Yo, what is going on my tribe? Samurais and katanas are so damn good in Elden Ring, so I wanted to play as a samurai once again, since my last one was over a year ago. And with Fashion Souls in mind, I wanted a character resembling the Raiden, the God of Thunder and Lightning from Mortal Kombat. This build is pretty versatile with very cool movesets, and with those powerful lightning incantations, that will make you a lightning assassin. Easily kill enemies and bosses with this powerful Ash of War. This build was based of one of Extra Life's builds. You know, you gotta get credit when it's due. So go and follow his channel for great Elden Ring content. I'll show you what weapon and Ash of War I'm using, along with the armor, talismans, and the rest of the gear. If you wanna play as a lightning samurai, then this build is for you. Game on. Raiden wins. Fatality. The weapon I'm using in this build is the powerful and long reach Nagakiba that you can obtain as soon as mid game if you follow Bloody Fingers Hunter Yura questline. It's still a beast of a weapon, and with the unsheath as a war, it's a complete killer. And it's so epic to watch when you hold that trigger and the samurai sheath and holds the blade in slow motion. It's so sweet. And then you can do two powerful moves. One with your normal attack that will do a quick horizontal slash attack and one with your strong attack that will do a more powerful vertical slash. This movement will be your bread and butter with this build since you will deal a lot of damage when you're fighting at melee range. This Ash of War can be found pretty early game in the south area of the Akio Lake in Limgrave by killing a teardrop scarab and watch out for those giant crabs. The unsheathed Ash of War will give you the keen affinity to the Nakakiba, which at max level will scale A with dexterity and E with strength, and will do Bloodlust buildup of 45. The rest of the attacks of the Nakakiba are pretty quick even when you are two-handing it, uh, with an honorable mention to the charge strong attack that will do a powerful pierce attack that you will have to time right because the charge is a little bit slow. The only time you should one hand the Nagakiba is when you are applying your incantations, especially the Electrify Armament that will buff the katana with lightning power and have a very cool visual to the weapon. The seal that I'm using for this build is the Gravel Stone Seal. A better option is the Earth Tree Seal, but you need a lot of more points in Faith so it can scale better for incantation since scales only S with Faith and also needs a whopping 40 faith requirement to use, which you probably won't have unless your character has more than level 200. So the best bet is the gravel stone seal that will also boost all of your dragon cult incantation. I did some testing and with 40 faith that I have on this build, uh, you deal more damage casting electrify armament with the gravel stone seal. In order to pull the looks of raiding, I needed a white robe and gloves to resemble his looks and that alone will drop my poison armor by a lot. And since I'm an aggressive player who likes to trade damage and I'm over 40 years old, you know, I'm kind of slow, uh, I needed more ways to improve my armor. So the armor that I ended up with is the Iron Casa, the Snow Witch Robe, the White Reed Gauntlets, and the Scale Greaves to improve that total armor and poise getting into the sweet spot of 51. So to bring that poise up on this build, you have to use the Bull Goat's Talisman to get to that sweet 51 poise. And since the armor that I got is low and I'm trading damage, uh, I needed some extra protection with the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. For offense, I'm using the Shard of Alexander that will increase the attack power of the Unsheathed Ash of War that with this build you will use a lot. And the Lightning Scorpion Charm that will raise your lightning attack power specifically the Electrify Armament and as well the rest of the Lightning Incantations. The Physique Flask on this build will support your offensive attribute and stat with first Lightning Shrouding Crack Tier that will increase your Lightning Attacks and Faith Not Crystal Tier to increase Faith by 10, giving you more Incantation Scaling on your seal to deal more damage. Although this build will rely more on your melee attacks, like a samurai, of course, it has the Raiden effect by using a few lightning incantations to deal great damage at enemies, mobs, and bosses. You got your basic buff incantations in Flame Gamer Strength and Golden Vow. 
your weapon buff incantation is electrify armament like i mentioned earlier then the rest are offensive incantations like the ancient dragon lightning strike that i use it specifically for big and slow bosses so that every single lightning ball that comes out of the spell hits the target doing the most damage possible this is one of the best incantations of the game next is the ancient dragon lightning spear that will work as a single target spell that can hit surrounding enemies next is lancia exclave that they will, this will be your favorite spell for mobs because it casts a frontal lightning sweep attack and last is your sniper lightning incantation in lightning spear that will hit enemies out of reach or that are a long range and has great damage the main attributes of this build are going to be first dexterity and then faith so the recommended class if you want to start this build from scratch it's a samurai or a confessor my character is a level 200 vagabond so the numbers you're about to see might be different if you have a different class my attribute spread is like this vigor at 60 so you get to the second soft cap mine at 30 this will give you in my opinion, a good FP pool to cast your incantations and a lot of your cheap on sheath as a war. If you're going hard on incantations with this build, I recommend you spend more points in it. Endurance at 35, strength at 18, just to meet the Nagakiva requirement, dexterity at 80, since uh, this is your main attribute, and since the Nagakiva and max level with keen affinity will scale A with it, intelligence at 9, no points here. Faith at 40, this is your second most important attribute, uh, apart from Vigor. Uh, a decent amount of Faith, it's good to deal great damage with your incantations. Playing with any Samurai build is always great, with the quick, cool looking and powerful moves that will make your playtime enjoyable. And this Lightning Samurai uh, raiding style is no exception. With great lightning damage with the OP Nagakiba and added versatility with the Dragon Cold incantations, uh, this build will wreck everything on your path, no doubt. The only con that I saw in my playthrough was that at late game, you are in chief, uh, Ash of War damage is not as devastating. In early to mid game enemies, you destroy everything. But later in the game, the fights are more slow. So you can rely more on your incantations or you just take your time with boss fights. If you enjoyed this build, please give the video a like and you will help this channel a lot to grow. Uh, consider to subscribe if you don't want to miss any more build videos like this one. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you again, everyone, and take care, and see you on the next video. Ciao!